Hey, what is up, everybody? It's your boy Magzi, and today I'll be teaching you how to actually lock an app. So, I've seen a lot of people locking their app something like this. Well, it does lock your app, but it kind of doesn't lock your app. By that, I mean uh, if you like, if you if you want to open the app without the password, all you have to do is just go. Uh, go to the search bar go for shortcuts and boom you don't need to put a password or anything But I'm gonna teach you a way to actually lock it But no matter where you do open it from it's gonna it's not gonna open the app unless you put a password in it so Something like this. So I'm gonna open snapchat No matter what I do I, not, I can't do anything until I put the password in so when I do put the password in, it will take me to an instant snapshot and I can easily uh, do stuff. But let's say well, you go to the app library and then open snapshot. You can't. You're gonna go to, you're gonna go to uh, the search bar and search snap, open it, you still can't. And I'm gonna teach you how to do this. So stay tuned. Okay, so first of all, we need to go to shortcuts. And open this up, and then uh, start a new automation. You're gonna create a personal automation and go to uh, apps. Open app, yeah. So when when you open, uh, for example, let's say Instagram. When you open Instagram, uh. So when so you want to choose the app that you want that you want to lock. So we want to lock Instagram. So we're going to choose Instagram. I'm gonna do next, and then we're gonna add open app. So this way it will take you another app unless until you put a password. So just use any random app. I usually choose Tips because it's the most randomest app there. Then I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna go and search for Ask for input. Then I'm gonna make it numbers. So this is you're you're telling it what type of password you're gonna choose. So we're gonna make a number password. So we're gonna put number with the prompt, uh, whatever you want it to say. Uh, let's say we wanna say it, we want it to say password. Then you can uncheck all of these. We don't really need it. Then you're gonna go and search for if. I'm gonna put if, and then uh, you you it'll automatically be chosen as if provided input. So it's uh, corresponding to this uh, shortcut. So we want to if provided input is, and now the number you want. So let's go for one, two, three, four. Then well, once you did that, then you wanna oh, then you wanna go to open app again, and then you want it to open. Then you want it to you wanna put it under if, and then you want it to open the app you want. So I want it to open Instagram. So I'm gonna put Instagram here. Then in otherwise, we wanna put stop shortcut. Cause if if the password is wrong. It will automatically stop the shortcut. Every it won't open the app, and it will just stop. Uh, uh, it will just stop uh, going through the script. So just just so it doesn't uh, keep on asking for password, I'm gonna put another stop shortcut under open Instagram. And yeah, that's basically it. So let's test it out. I'm gonna do next, and don't we don't want it to ask us before happening before running and then we're gonna press done then we're gonna go to Instagram oh shit bro can't open Instagram man oh, I need to put the password one two three four and boom you are in Instagram thank you guys for watching Please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Hope this thing helped.
don't use it for anything bad keep your intentions nice clear don't do anything bad stay happy yeah i don't know what i'm saying and subscribe press the bell notifications if you want more videos like these i'm coming up with more things to do with iphones for example uh more storage uh, how to airdrop from your pc stuff like that so stay tuned see you guys in the next video peace